Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening. Hi guys, welcome back to Charlie's Time. I wanted to put together this video because I've had so many people ask me this simple question and all I have is one simple answer. And the question is to use or not to use rubber bands on their children's hair. Guys, my one simple answer is why not? Yes, absolutely yes. I use rubber bands on Charlie's hair all the time. Guys, if you follow our channel, you notice that I do braids as well as ponytails. I also have done a wash and goals. I've done these things. Now, of course, given I do not use rubber bands on a wash and go, but on a twist out I do, on ponytails I use them, also on braids I use them. And I have not had a problem with them. Now guys, a lot of people say do not use rubber bands on your children's hair simply because they cause breakage. And guys, I just want to simply tell you that it causes breakage simply because of the way the rubber bands are being used. Now, rubber bands seem to get a bad rap. And everybody wants to say, don't use rubber bands, use hair ties. And this is why I have these right here. And this is just a form of hair ties that I do use, but I don't use often. Not like I use rubber bands because the styles I use require a rubber band. They just do. When I do small ponytails, this is not going to work for it. I use rubber bands. And they say, yeah, well, use the smaller ties. Um, it's different with rubber bands, guys. I've simply been doing hair for over 20 years, so I really do know a little something about what I'm explaining to you today. Now, and again, this is my preference and this is my opinion on rubber bands because I use them and I have never had a problem with breakage. When I say never, I say never and it's because the way I use them. You have to use them properly. You know, I took Charlie to school the other day so I want to share this story with you. It's a very short story but when I share it with you, you're going to get an understanding of why I say use rubber bands properly. Now, I took Charlie to school and I seen this little girl, oh, she's such a cutie, right? And I'm like, oh, her hair is done very nice. So I said, okay, let me get a closer look at this. Let me check out this hairstyle. So I look, I said, okay, nice. But as I got closer to the little girl, I noticed the sides of her hair where her mom, dad, or cousin, whoever did her hair, put her ponytails in, were pulling. And it was pulling so bad to the fact that she had bumps around the edges of her hair. Guys, that is a prime example of the rubber band not being used properly. For one, the rubber band was too tight. And that's the one key thing I want to tell you guys when using rubber bands. Make sure that you're not making it too tight in your girl's hair. Just make sure. Oh, you know what? When I put the rubber band on Charlie's hair, I also go to the root. I do a little tug and I'm making sure it's not too tight because we don't want no breakage. We don't want no pullage. And we do not want those little fine bumps around her edges. That is the main reason for breakage, guys. Rubber bands not being used properly. And this is why rubber bands get such a bad rap because of that. And it's really not just the rubber band's fault. It's the person behind the rubber band who is applying it. Okay, guys? Rule of thumb number one. Make sure your rubber band is not too tight, guys. As you know, and following my videos, I use ponytails. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, something in my throat. Let me have a sip of my tea. But guys, while I'm sipping my tea, if you have not hit that like button, hit it. If you have not subscribed, please do so now while I sip on my tea. Done, guys? One more sip. Mm. So good, guys. I love tea. And I know you coffee drinkers out there love coffee, but honey, I love me some tea. Ah, love me some tea. So back into the video. Guys, again, I use rubber bands on Charlie's ponytails as well as her braids. And now I use that on I use the rubber bands on the root of her ponytails and also on the ends. And you saying, girl, that's too much rubber band. Oh, honey, that's gonna break, break, break. No, we have no breakage, and let me tell you why because it's the way I apply the rubber band. I'm very careful when doing Charlie's hair, honey. I really am. 
So when I add it to the root of her hair, again, I make sure it's not too tight. I do a little snug. I really make sure it's not too tight. And then I proceed to braid or twist her hair. Now when I get to the end of her hair, I like to add hair beads or hair barrettes at the end. Now to secure both of those, I use a rubber band. Yes, I do, honey. I use a rubber band and I put the barrette on, I twist on the rubber band, and we are good, honey. I am not going to tell you how many times I've sent children to school and they come back from doing, getting their hair done and they come back without barrettes. Moms, comment in the comments and tell me how many times your girls have came home without their barrettes. I know it's going to be a lot of you, and I know this for a fact because I see a lot of them at the schools, on the playgrounds, all that stuff. I know it for a fact. So, again, guys, if you want to secure the barrette, do it with rubber band. If you want to secure the beads, do it with a rubber band. But again, guys, you got to take the rubber band off properly. So now I'm going to give you two steps on taking off the rubber band properly without breakage. Guys, this is my first one and it's my very go-to one. It's, it's just, it works for me. And it's simply, guys, to cut it off. Guys, get you a pair of scissors. You know, I have my little handy pair of scissors, small black scissors that I use. And this is only, I don't cut Charlie's hair, never, ever, ever will I cut it. When she's ready for a trim, we'll get a trim, but she don't need it now. She has naturally curly hair. She's still a little girl. She still has her baby hair. So we're not trimming. We're not doing any of that. So these scissors are only for the, I mean, only for cutting purposes of the rubber bands to get them out of Charlie's hair so I can prevent breakage and that is it. So what I do is pull a piece of the rubber band from the hair. Now while doing that, I'm making sure there's no hair caught up in that rubber band before I go in and I clip it. Keyword guys, pull the rubber band, make sure there's no hair surrounding it and then clip the rubber band. Now when you do that, ee, the rubber band's gonna fall off. We're talking about no breakage, she's good. Now, even when I apply it to the ends with the beads and the barrettes, I do the same thing. I pull a piece of the rubber band from the hair, making sure there's no hair surrounding that rubber band. I take the scissors, I go in, I do one little clip, rubber band gone, no breakage, no hair on the rubber band at all. Now guys, that is my way, but that's only one way. And for you guys out there who's saying, oh, I don't wanna take a chance on, putting those scissors close to my hair or my little one's hair. Have another option. And it's a simple option too. Roll down method. You're saying roll down method. Girl, what is that? Okay, the roll down method is from the root of the hair where the rubber band is, roll down and take it all the way to the ends and roll it off. Now, this method, I've tried, it didn't work for me. And some of you out there have tried it and it worked for you. And that's fine and dandy. But it didn't work for me. So you know what happened when I got to the end of the hair? The rubber bands start to tangle. And I said, oh no, honey, we're not doing this. We're not breaking off any of Charlie's hair. We don't want no damaged ends. We're not doing that. So what I did was went to my rule of thumb number one, the cut method. So I pulled a piece of the rubber band. I made sure there was no hair tangling around that rubber band. I grabbed my little handy black scissors and I clipped it. And you know what? Voila, the rubber band came off, no hair attached. So guys, for me, sticking to the number one plan of cutting it, it just works. It works for me and I will continue to do it because it's been working for many, many years. Now, going on guys, I want to talk to you about um, what did I not cover so far? Oh, guys, as far as how long do you leave a hairstyle in your child's hair? Guys, if you follow my channel, you know that Charlie get weekly hairdos, and I do that simply because I like to wash and condition her hair weekly. Honey, I do not play. I like Charlie to be well-groomed at all times. So within doing that, a process of it is doing her hair. So we do her hair weekly, and I like to, you know, kids hair get dirty and a lot of times their hair sweats depending on what time of year it is and I don't want her to walk around with smelly hair I'm sorry I don't want to do that and I don't want her to walk around with uh, messy braids and messy ponytails I'm sorry I will not do that 
So her hair is done weekly. And I know I have these parents out there saying, honey, I don't have time. I have other children. I have a busy life. I work. I work from home. I do this and that. I got soccer practice. I got football practice. I got, I, I hear you, honey. I do. But all I want you to do is make time to do your child's hair weekly. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. And if you follow my channel and you saying, oh, Charlie's hair is growing. It is. And it's simply because I do that. And I do do a deep condition. I'm telling you guys, sometimes I do it once a month. And sometimes I may do it twice a month. But what I, also, what I do all the time, weekly, is wash and condition her hair. I, I don't play with that. I do that and I style it weekly. So guys, with that being said, let's go back to the rubber band effect. Now, I do Charlie's hair weekly, another reason because I add rubber bands. And for me, leaving rubber bands over a week will start breakage. And it will start the hair to um, intertwine with the rubber band, if you, if you get what I'm saying. The rubber band starts to go into the new growth of the hair from the root, and they start to lock up. And that factor is in a lot of breakage. And you notice when you try and go in, you got all the little dirt and stuff around the rubber bands and the hair is tangled in it. That's because you have let the hair um, stay too long and the rubber band has started to connect with the, with the rubber band. And we don't want that. So before we let that happen, we're going to style weekly and take the rubber band out. And what way are we going to do it, guys? One, two, three. <laughs> yes guys we're gonna cut it out it's the easiest way guys I promise you it's the easiest way but you know don't take it from me try the roll down method because it may work for you it didn't work for me so let's try that first and um, just cut it out and not leave it in your hair in, in your children's hair too long but let's move on to something let me have a sip of tea first mmm so good so guys you're probably like wondering what is this sitting here these are hair ties and people say they like to use hair ties versus rubber bands because they don't get a lot of tangles and they don't get a lot of breakage and that works for some people but for me the styles I do a small black rubber band works best for us so that's what we do now these are fine and these are colorful and I just use these for color um, for the video purpose I do have all black ones as well but I wanted to show you these and a lot of times I do her hair in this it's like for a birthday party or something it's gonna be a quick style and um, and I'm going to take it out because this don't match her uniform and I need her to wear the style weekly so you know I'm not doing her hair every day honey so we don't use these for that but I just want to show you that I do use these types of hair ties but not too often because I like rubber bands and I haven't had any breakage so it works for me and guys I also wanted to share this with you a lot of times I get asked how do you store her hair accessories I sort I store them many ways and one way I just use containers. This container I got from my local 99 cent store. And you know you hear the word 99 cent, but you go in that place and you got some things for 4.99. Yeah, they stand. Sometimes it's gonna end with 99 cent. Everything in here is not 99 cent, and that was the case um, at that store. But this item itself was 99 cent, guys. And this container is a hardware storage container. Go figure, right? But we are not storing hardware what we're storing in here is hair accessories so i'm going to put a picture in the video so you all can get a closer look but i'm going to try and open it i don't want to tilt it too much because things may fall out but i wanted to share some things with you what i have in here now speaking of rubber bands i have color rubber bands look at that man i love rubber bands we have the black medium sized ones also we have the black small ones also, honey, we have the white ones. How cute are those? Okay, and then also in here we have storage for our little black beads. We also have our little hair accessories that we stick onto her braids. We also have our square beads that are colorful. We have those in there as well. We have more of these braided ones. It's silver. We even have our seashells. Oh, there's a rubber band. We even have our seashells in there for braids. I haven't used these yet. I don't know how I'm going to style her hair with it. But we also have those. And then in this little department over here, we have our Barbie pins. So, guys, I have put several things in here. I do have bigger containers where I store most of these things because a lot of things couldn't fit. But sometimes when we're doing a quick hair do and just go to this and just grab it and move on, I use this. And this is just one of the ways that I store some things. And I use this for the video purpose because I wanted to show you how I store my rubber bands. So 
always my rubber bands are always in here but just because I have these other compartments I said why not use them and the cool thing about this is guys these things remove so if I want like this one it removes so if I wanted to make a bigger area for the rubber bands I could but I like to keep the small ones and the medium sized ones separated so I, I just leave it in there and these also come out too just like so so it's a pretty neat thing and it only cost me again guys 99 cents what so guys I'm gonna tell you this also a part of this video is I want you guys to Think outside the box when you go into places like beauty supplies and um, home goods and things like that. Now, if you guys have watched um, my product review videos, and you see that I have a lot of hair products. And a lot of times people ask me, where'd you get it from? And a lot of times I'm saying beauty supply. But sometimes I'm saying other stores and people are thinking like, what? That's because guys, when I go into these other stores, if I go into a clothing store, I'm not just in there looking for clothes. I'm in there looking for everything. Housewares, hair accessories, everything. Shampoos, conditioners. So I'm saying this to you is step outside your box when you go into these places and look for other things. Guys, a lot of my hair products I get from like Marsha's and TJ Maxx. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with these places because I know a lot of you watch me from all over the world. But TJ Maxx and Marshalls has an area where they still um, hair accessories, shampoos, conditioners, and things like that. Now, these shampoos and their conditioners are a really good find because a lot of those products they use in hair salons. And what's good for us, the buyers that walk into these stores, is we get it at a discount price. So, guys, do not sleep on these places. When you go into these places, look at their hair products. Look at them and do your research online and all that and see these are what they're using in hair salons and it's giving people great styles and um, frizz free hair and all that. So go outside your comfort zone guys and look for these items in these other stores and stock up on them honey and you get them at a discount price. I got this awesome shampoo and conditioner. I looked online and it was like $30 a bottle guys and I tell you I got it for like $8.99. Step outside your comfort zone, guys, and get this. And this is a shampoo that they use in hair salons in L.A. So I want you to step outside your comfort zone. Just like I went into the 99 cent store and I got this in the hardware department. And guess what? I'm using it for hair accessories. What did I do? I stepped outside my comfort zone and it works for me. So, guys, I want you to do that as well. I think I've covered everything as far as the rubber bands. But if you have rubber bands, just use them. And I know you're saying, girl, you're cutting up them rubber bands. Sometimes I like to reuse them. Well, when you reuse them, they, they don't work the same. And they're easy to break. So cutting them is not a big thing, guys. When I tell you, I bought a pack of rubber bands. And it's usually like 300 to 500 rubber bands in a pack for $1. Oh, I cannot leave this video without telling you all about Charlie, honey. Charlie has started her own kids channel. She has been asking me for it for months. You know, she used to love watching Cartoon Network. She has thrown Cartoon Network away, honey. She likes watching kids on YouTube. It's the new thing. And um, she wanted to be a part of it. So finally, I just said, you know what? Let's do some filming. We did some filming over Easter holiday. And we put up some videos. So right now on Charlie's channel, she has three videos, guys. Her channel is called Cool Girl Charlie. Please support her. Go and subscribe to her channel also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified when she uploads her videos she says that she's going to do pranks on everybody charlie's doing spanish now so she wants to share spanish with all the little kids out there in the world she says not just stop all about dora explorer dora the explorer i think that's i think i said that right it's not just about her anymore it's about it's going to be about cool girl charlie teaching the kids how to do spanish also, Ch Charlie is entering the modeling world as well as acting, honey. And she wants to take you all on that journey with her as well. So, guys, you'll be able to go on that with us and we'll show you ways to get your kids into modeling and acting. All that good stuff we're going to share on this channel. She says she also wants to do experiments because she wants to show kids how to do things. Like, she says she wants to do a number of things on her channel. She wants to just have fun and just be free. She wants to do a lot of just being Charlie. So I told her, you know what, girlfriend, just go for it. We're going to do it. So we put three videos up on her channel, guys. 
please leave this video go to cool girl charlie is her youtube channel name like comment and subscribe and support her guys please support her channel i'm gonna link her channel in the description box and um i think that's pretty much for ended for us and so um again if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so again this is it's charlie time we do weekly hair tutorials honey every week i'm putting up a video about hair and if you have not not seen the hairstyles i've done on my channel go back we have over a hundred of them and they're very cute very easy very simple hairstyles that you can do for your kids this is for any and everyone please go and like subscribe and hit the notification bell on this channel as well and again for all my subscribers out there who have supported us for all this time we like to thank you as always bye for now